Gaia has been scanning the sky since early 2014, sending its valuable signals to Earth to Deepak. This consortium transforms this signal into data. Photometry, astrometry, BPRP spectra photometry, and RBS high resolution spectra. In year three, the consortium will publish for the first time the classification and astrophysical characterization of the observed sources based on Gaia spectra. APSIS, a software developed by the Coordination Unit 8 in DIPAC, is responsible for that and is the result of a massive coordinated effort by nearly 70 scientists and software engineers. APSIS runs at the French Space Agency CNES Center in Toulouse. A team of software engineers supports and follows all the operations that lead to the production of C8 results. APSIS is made of different modules. They are developed by different groups all around Europe. Each one provides a piece of the information that we need to understand our sky. These modules rely on physical models of stars, quasars and galaxies to properly characterize the different Gaia sources. A huge effort of the C8 team has been to collect a large database of these models. In Padova, we turn those physical models into low-resolution BPRP Gaia spectrum. The first modules to derive astrophysical information were developed in Heidelberg. Starting from the BPRP spectra, the SC is responsible for the classification of 1.6 billion sources in DR3, while JSP FOT provides the parameters determination for nearly 500 million stars. In parallel for the bright stars, JSP SPEC, developed in Nice and Catalonia, analyzes the high resolution Gaia RBS spectra and provides us with detailed chemistry patterns of stars. Other modules are then activated, tailored to specific types of stars. Two of these modules, ESP ELS and ESP HS, were both developed in Brussels by the same team and provide measures of activity for 250 million stars and astrophysical parameters for 2 million hot stars. ESPCS, developed in Catania, measures the activity level of 2 million very active cool stars. ESPUCD, developed in Madrid, characterizes a sample of 100,000 very cool stars and substellar objects. MSC, developed in Heidelberg, determines the parameters of 350 million unresolved stellar binaries. Based on these results, other modules go a little further. FLAME, in Nice, derives the fundamental stellar parameters like radius, mass and age for 300 million stars. TGE, in turn, provides to the community a set of two-dimensional photogalactic extinction maps. Gaia also observes galaxies and quasars. UGC, developed in Athens, determines the redshift for 1.4 million unresolved galaxies, while QSOC, developed in Liege, does the same for 6 million quasars. Finally, the Outliers module, developed in Coruña, further analyzes the sources that were not well classified, providing information for an additional sample of 56 million sources. Now that each module has finished its job, we have the data, but we are far from ready to deliver those data to the community. We need to validate them. It is a truly massive dataset. So a team in Madrid worked closely with a Seaway team to create a specific database and an online platform to help us do our job more quickly and efficiently. We share the data, we share the procedures, we share competencies, we discuss everything at length. We try to fully characterize the data we produce. It is a two-year-long process, involving a lot of interactions with other coordination units in DPAC. This culminates in the production of a detailed documentation and a set of papers that will accompany our data in year 3. Now it is up to the community to take the pieces of information that we provided and solve the puzzle.